perspective. So I leave the floor to Mr. Renato Galliano, the director of um, uh, Urban Economy and Labor Department. Thank you, Renato. Thank you to you, Lucia, and uh, welcome uh, to all of you, specifically to our international partners, uh, to our officer, uh, and uh, she will talk uh, after me. And uh, uh, I will give you an overview about the Open Care Project, uh, which has a very interesting subtitle, The Digital Social Innovation and the Future of Care in Milan. I mean, we are, we are trying with this project to put the, together different aspects uh, which are very, very successful uh, and very interesting uh, for the future. But uh, let's start uh, from, uh, no, I have to. Sorry. Okay. Uh, here you have some pictures uh, um, trying to summarize the most important challenges we have to face uh, in Milan. But let's say that is not only a problem of a city of Milan. When we talk about the non-self-sufficient uh, elderly people, uh, when we talk about uh, refugees uh, or uh, asylum seekers uh, or women looking for uh, a new job and so on, uh, uh, we are talking about uh, some societal changes and challenges that all the cities in Europe and, let's say, in the Western countries uh, are facing. So uh, we, uh, with the project, uh, we tried to use different methods uh, to face uh, these challenges. The first, uh, I would like to mention this uh, approach which is a collective intelligence approach, which is, uh, and let me simplify what uh, we consider uh, collective intelligence, is a kind of uh, step, uh, a second step, or step uh, ahead toward a new approach, uh, is the second step of the co-design approach, which is uh, very well known uh, in Italy and uh, in Europe, but the collective intelligence means also looking outside of the small group of designers, collecting information from the market, from the community, reference community, and so on. So this is the first aspect, and I would like to underline that the concept of openness, scalable, and replicable of the uh, project and the method. This uh, uh, capacity of uh, collecting uh, activities uh, and thoughts, uh, ideas, uh, is uh, the focal point for achieving new solutions. The second aspect is this, is uh, the fourth uh, industrial revolution, how it's called, the fourth in industrial revolution, meaning uh, Industry 4.0, meaning uh, new urban uh, activities and productive activities. Uh, as uh, the Deputy Mayor Cristina Tajani has already mentioned before, <clears throat> the city of Milano was able, after a, a participatory process, uh, involving uh, all the players uh, uh, working uh, on this topic, I mean universities, uh, association of entrepreneurs, uh, SMEs, uh, um, third sectors, uh, and so on. After this uh, participatory process, uh, we were able to define uh, a kind of guideline uh, to help uh, the city to uh, reshore activities, productive activities uh, within uh, the urban activities, within the urban uh, environment. Uh, talking about uh, uh, production activities, uh, we mean uh, being uh, in an urban area, sustainable activities uh, uh, with a special focus uh, on uh, environment, energy, uh, inclusion, uh, and so on. 
this uh, is also uh, this also means another aspect new players uh, are approaching uh, the sector of the care fab labs uh, maker space or uh, maker spaces uh, and so on uh, are not used to work uh, within uh, the sector of the care we have tried with this project to put together different players, players coming from uh, uh, the sector, the traditional sector of care, and the players coming from a completely different world, which is uh, the maker space uh, and uh, the fab labs. We uh, took the occasion uh, to present the project uh, under uh, the uh, Horizon 2020 program uh, and uh, specifically the CAPSI activity and uh, with the partners uh, and uh, these uh, our partners uh, the, uh, uh, with, uh, with the city of Milan uh, we have a drider from UK uh, the Institute for Economic and Business History Research Sweden, the Schimpuls Foundation Netherlands, the University of Bordeaux, France, and we make from Milan, from Italy, to design this project, which is based on these aspect. These aspect, the prototyping layer, the policy designing layer, the online conversation layer and the technology for collective intelligence layer are the base, the pillars of our project. They are, all of them are connected in a kind of a circle. And after being involved in this project for two years, we can say right now that put together different players coming from different sectors, different cultures, with the different uh, uh, perspectives and so on. But all of them focused in finding new solution for the care system is uh, very, very useful for uh, the players, but also for the users. For, for the final user of uh, these uh, uh, activities. And uh, this is the base of our project. I won't go through all of them uh, because uh, we will discuss it uh, uh, during this afternoon and uh, tomorrow, but I would like just to give you an uh, uh, overview, but sorry, I have to use uh, my glasses. Uh, just to give you a very short uh, summary of uh, the agenda of, the, uh, of today uh, and uh, tomorrow. Um, I will give uh, the floor uh, to Loretta Anania, which is uh, the program officer from uh, DG Communication. Then we will have uh, uh, some uh, um, focus on uh, uh, collective intelligence uh, and uh, social innovation. Uh, after the coffee break, we will talk about uh, the cities uh, as platforms uh, for uh, uh, open innovation. And uh, after the final uh, uh, remarks, uh, uh, during the happy hour, you will have uh, the possibility to visit uh, the exhibition, which is uh, in a room uh, uh, on, your, on my left, on your right. And tomorrow we will continue with uh, a morning dedicated uh, to the concept of uh, new urban economies and digital manufacturing. First of all, we will discuss about uh, the City of Milan vision uh, on uh, this topic, but uh, uh, also other experiences will be presented in, uh, uh, let's mention, uh, Made to Care, which is an emerging innovation ecosystem uh, from the Polytechnic uh, of Milan. Uh, another uh, session uh, we will go through the, uh, from care services to care as an open system, uh, so the open care uh, perspective. 
And uh, then after the coffee break, uh, we will discuss tomorrow on the economies uh, of the care and uh, the uh, innovation. Um, I'd like uh, to uh, remember the exhibition and tomorrow all the uh, selected projects will be presented, uh, and, uh, but uh, you have the possibility also to visit uh, uh, them also uh, today. Uh, and uh, uh, before ending, uh, I'd like to uh, thank uh, the team, uh, the Open Cares team, uh, and uh, Lucia and uh, Rossana, but also Matteo Matteini, which is there. Uh, and thank you for your effort. Uh, all of them uh, uh, have been involved uh, since the beginning in a very, very deeply way, uh, producing and providing uh, energy, thoughts, uh, and uh, creativity in order to manage and uh, to go through the entire project. Thank you. And uh, right now, <coughs> I will ask uh, uh, Ninetta. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>